You ever have a friend who you thought was super solid, like your ace, you know what I'm saying? You never thought this person would ever switch up on you. And then they did over a woman. Let's go. Let's talk about it. Story time. Me and my close friend, Brooke, we was wanting to go out one night. Now, I'm not a big going out type person. I throw events, but I don't really be going out like that. So this particular new spot was opening up. We figured we'd stop by, get something to eat, have a few drinks, have a good time. So he come and pick me up. We go to this spot. It's super crowded when we get there. Like there's nowhere to sit. The bar is full, people standing there. You know, it's a good night at the end of the day. So we see these two girls sitting at a table and they had some empty seats. So I went up to them and I was like, hey, is anybody sitting with y'all? You know what I'm saying? I'll buy a round of drinks if y'all let us, you know, chill with y'all or whatever. And so they was like, no, 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 you know, you could sit down, you could sit down. It was this girl named Dana and Stacy, right? There was no like, oh, we about to go holler at these girls or, oh, this about to be, you know, a situation or whatever. We was really just trying to sit down. I got bad feet and a bad back. I'm just saying. So I'm really just looking for comfort at this point. We sit down. Now there wasn't any like, oh, you sit with her. Oh, you sit with him. We just sat down where the empty seats was. That's all it was. So Brooke was on one side. I was on the other side. Girls sitting in the middle. Boom. Waiter come by. I'm like, look, here go $50. I know you busy. Keep this. This is a tip. Can you take care of me and my friends at the table? You know what I'm saying? We ain't really trying to be like waiting 45, 50 minutes for a drink. So she's like, I got you, Tom. You know what I'm saying? Like, and she dipped and got me the drinks or whatnot. So the girl Stacy was sitting right next to me and she was just like, that's what I'm talking about. A man who takes charge, a man who leads, a man who, you know, this, this, and the third. Now, don't get me wrong. Both of these girls were beautiful, like very, very pretty young ladies. You know what I'm saying? Now, Stacy off rip. I just, listen, I just met them for the first time, but Stacy was like super aggressive, rubbing my back, back of my head. You know what I'm saying? everything off rip but you know dana was i could tell was a little bit more smart and so you know my friend brooke he he funny he's silly so he was just like cracking jokes or whatever and she was sort of like you know eh, 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 that's that's just funny but she wasn't really like on him like like stacy was on me now we probably like three or four drinks in you know just having a good time music playing you know what i'm saying casual conversation and so stacy's like we should get out of here and go somewhere else you know what i'm saying and i'm like what you got in mind she was like yeah let's just go get something to eat somewhere else this place is like crazy crowded so we leave we get to the parking lot and they like you know i didn't drive i was with brooke stacy drove with dana so she was like why don't you just get in the car with me dana get in the car with him and this is in the third like she's sort of setting this up like hey my wingman with your wingman you know what i'm saying sort of doing like one of those situations and she all she on it off rip now like i said i didn't go into this with any romantic like okay i'm about to you know knock her off tonight or anything like that i was really just having a good time kicking it like it could have been anybody sitting at that table and i would have did the exact same thing so we go get something to eat talking or whatever anyway we end up back at dana's place so we had dana's place you know stacy you know she putting the moves on her brother, you know what I'm saying? Hands on inner thigh, rubbing, chest, all this stuff. Like she trying to go in. Like Dana and Brooke, they like in the kitchen talking and you know, my dude trying, but you know, she's, I could tell she just wasn't on it. Like, she would always be looking at me like the whole night, like, hey, come get your dude. Like, hey, you know, she was just trying to be a good wingman, right? I ain't think nothing of it. All of this is gonna come into play a little later. Stacy, she like, hey, um, I'm trying to, you know, not, 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 not. And I'm like, I mean, for real? And you know what I'm saying? I mean, I had a few at that point, had the henny dick going on. So I was like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? Say she wasn't half bad. So I was like, you know, let's go do that. So we dip off, you know, had a little clap session or whatnot. And, you know, I came back. When I came back in the room, Dana and Brooke was on the couch and they were sort of watching TV and Brooke had his shirt off and shoes off. So I'm thinking, 
you know, it done, it done went down or whatever. So I'm like, hey, you know, let's let's dip out. You know what I'm saying? So I, me and my dude, we dip out. He in the car like, man, you know what I'm saying? Dude, man, I went in on her and this, this, and the third. And, you know, she did it. She a screamer and all that, 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 that. I'm like, I mean, hey, it was pretty decent. You know what I'm saying? And so Stacy, she texts me and she's like, I miss you already. Can you come to my house in a few hours? And this, this, and the third. And I'm like, <sighs> nah, I don't know about all that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, listen, in the grand scheme of things, we met some girls, had a good time, blase, blase. Nobody expected like relationship. Well, I didn't expect relationships to evolve and all this stuff, right? So Stacy, you know, she's calling me all this stuff. She's on my neck, you know, all this time. We started talking and, you know, sort of like hanging out. But and she would always bring Dana and, you know, Brooke would always come over, you know what I'm saying? Da, 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 da. So Brooke would always be telling me all this stuff him and Dana be doing and all this stuff, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just like, I've never seen them kiss or be affectionate or, you know, anything. And she always seemed like she was bothered with him. So when he would be telling me all this stuff like they was doing, I'd be like, for real? Yeah. Okay. All right. R okay. And I'd be like, hmm. But Stacy like was a hundred percent locked in, but she was like not my type though. Not my type at all. Like she was super hood. She smoked a ton of weed. I mean, I'm not against people who smoke weed, but like when you start smoking two, three, four blunts a day, like, yeah, you might have a small issue. Um it was more so like a kick it person, like vibes. Like she was cool to be around in places and stuff like that. The thing is, she just wasn't, you know, like a chick. I would be like, oh, I could see a future with her more so than we would be just hanging out. So before I started throwing game nights, I used to have game night at my house. Right. So every once in a while, a group of my friends would come over and we would have game night at my house. So one of those nights was coming up and I told them, I was like, hey, why don't y'all come through? They come through the game night. Brooke there, a few of my friends there, we kicking it, having a good time or whatever. And so... I'm sitting on the couch and I'm trying to get the TV to work because we about to play a game using the TV. Stacy sitting next to me on her phone. Brooke is like, where the food at? And he's sitting there like, you know, inhaling chicken wings and eating a hoagie, you know, da 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 da. So Dana comes in. I mean, Dana was really pretty, like really graceful, really pretty, really smart. I mean, she was she was really put together. She comes into the room. Now it's people around, it's, you know, everything. And she hands me a plate of wings and she's prepared it like I like my wings. Like I, Wingstop, if y'all paying attention, send me the sponsorship because I'm about to go in. Now I like Louisiana rub wings, flats, well done with the extra flavor sauce dripped on them and then the ranch dripped on the sauce, right? So she brings me a plate with that already made a sweet tea with some ice in it. And she like brings me the plate. Now, a couple of my other friends, they was like, why is she letting her girlfriend bring him a plate? And she ain't even, but that wasn't Stacy. Stacy wasn't like that type of chick. She was a fun girl. She was a good time girl. She was not like, oh, let me take care of you, babe. It was more so like, like wham, bam, thank you, ma'am type situations, whatever. So Dana brings me the plate and she's like, here you go, babe. Now. I heard her say babe. Brooke heard her say babe. My other friend heard her say babe. Stacy didn't hear her say babe. Not only did she say, hey babe, she handed me a napkin and started rubbing my back while she handed me the plate. Now I'm sitting here and I'm holding the plate and I'm partaking in the delicious delectable delights of these wings. But at the same time, I'm like, what is about to happen here? Now she's still like rubbing my back and she's like, there's something I have to tell you, Tom. And I'm like, what? And she's like, that night we all met at the club, that was not my first time seeing you or even wanting you. And I'm like, want What? <laughs> what? <laughs> huh? <sighs> Catch me in part two. Catch me in part two. Meet me on YouTube. Head over there right now. Leave. Stop what you're doing right now. Meet me over there. Let's go.